Senior military officers have been stripped of their command following a devastating eye expose on alleged sex abuse at an RAF base. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said yesterday that officers from the regiment had been suspended after this newspaper exposed an appalling abuse of a naked airman during an initiation ceremony. Last week the Daily Mail obtained footage of the man being held down by rowdy, drunken troops who spat mouthfuls of lager at his backside before lowering a four-foot-long mortar barrel weighing 28 pounds behind him. The weapon's ball-shaped socket was then used on the airman as his colleagues violently slapped his buttocks. The disturbing video was shot recently at an RAF base in the UK, but the squadron cannot be named for legal reasons. The Defence Secretary also confirmed that this unit is to be disbanded, though this decision is likely to have been taken before the Mail's report on Saturday. Mr. Wallace added that the victims of the incident were being offered support. Under the Sexual Offences Act 2003, the act of assault by penetration carries a custodial sentence. A key issue in such cases is consent. It will be for military police to determine whether or not the airman was forced to go through with what appears to have been a grotesque ordeal. But ahead of its conclusions Mr. Wallace told the Commons, We were appalled by the reporting we saw of the incident involving members of the RAF regiment at the weekend. The Chief of the Air Staff and I had a discussion about the incident over the weekend and he has, with my support, acted quickly. He has removed officers from the immediate chain of command without prejudice pending the findings of a police investigation, and the unit involved will be disbanded with immediate effect. Apostrophe. Last night the head of the RAF, Air Chief Marshal Sir Mike Wigston, spoke of his anger over the incident and launched two inquiries which will run alongside the criminal investigation. He said, Many of you will have seen coverage at the weekend of a deplorable incident involving members of the RAF regiment. Many of you have contacted me personally saying how appalled you are, and I share your anger. He added, this incident does not represent our Royal Air Force. We are so much better than that. And that is what I see demonstrated every day in all that we do to serve our country. Apostrophe. Veterans Minister Johnny Mercer tweeted a link to the Mail's report and said, there is zero tolerance of inappropriate behaviours in the military under this government. Apostrophe RAF Regiment personnel protect their bases, and during the UK's long military campaign in Afghanistan its men defended Camp Bastion, the main British base in Helmand. This role requires its troops to be proficient in military skills more commonly taught to army soldiers, including how to load and accurately fire mortars.
It is thought the airman in the video, we're learning to use the 81mm variant of the multi weapon system. The 75 second clip has raised fears that initiation ceremonies, which the Ministry of Defense has tried to stamp out in military units, remain a common occurrence. Last July Mr. Wallace launched an anti-bullying 24 7 telephone helpline for personnel across the Army, Royal Navy and RAF. In 2019 Royal Marines taking part in a multinational exercise to prepare for any future conflict with Russia, scrawled the Nazi swastika on the chest of a comrade in another such ceremony, which was filmed on a mobile phone and shared online. In 2016 Army Private Oliver Scudder launched legal action against the mod after he was forced to quit the ranks due to injuries sustained in a violent initiation ceremony, 